Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. There's the whistle and here we go. Forward it goes. Got a sight of goal here. Turns and goes back. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Plays it out to the wing. Keeps everyone guessing. Out to the left it goes. And now they can launch a counter. Plays it out to the flank. A really good feat from him. Defending of the desperate variety. He's in! He's had a go! He's been up try. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Heading towards half time, and it is still scoreless. Takes it over to the other flank. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Hoists it forward. He's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Pulled back on the first 45 minutes. Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. So we're just settling back into this second half. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Shot a goal! Great effort, beautifully taken. 
Ah, oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Tries to get it clear. So who's he picking out? Oh, that's nice. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Good interception. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch. Not to give up hope just yet. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, he's obviously been identified as a menace, and they're dealing with him accordingly. I think we can expect more of the same. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Looks to clip it forward. It is now or never, time is against them. Goalkeeper's ball. And that's it. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defence is largely untroubled. It's goals. Your final thoughts, Jim?